Hi guys, it's Microsoft here, here on a Minecraft mod tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you how to make it so that your block has an inventory. Now, the old way of doing this is an I inventory, but we're going to do the new way using the forge capabilities. So we're going to make it implement an I capability provider, um, and we're going to actually make a new capability. Now, to make it so that your Talency now holds items. Uh, we're going to add the capability. So what we're going to do is at the bottom, we're going to press Control Space. Going to get the get capability and has capability. So the has capability says if it's capable of doing something. So if capability is equal to capability and it's item handler dot the item handler capability if it's that then what it'll do is return true and we're going to fill in the get capability in a second we need to actually make the actual thing that has the capability to be to hold the items now what we use is a private item stack handler and I'm just going to call it handler we initialize this. Control Shift O to import that, by the way. So in the constructor, we just initialize the handler to a new item stack handler. And I'm just going to put the size. I want nine different slots. Um, and let's just add it in now over here. So let's get this if statement again. Now we have to return. Excuse me. We have to return the thing that has a capability, so return this to handler. And we've got to cast this to T. Um, that's basically capabilities for you. Um, we're now going to read from MET. So I'm going to store this as a separate MET tag. So MET.set tag. Going to call it item stack handler and the value is the handler dot and all it is is serialize mbt and that's already saved all of our stuff from the um handler now what we're going to do is i was going to put this just to be a bit more precise um i'm going to do this dot handler dot Deserialize mbt mbt dot get tag and it's just the item stack handler tag which is going to just set all of our values based on everything it gets from the tag which we set here so that'll basically save it now right at the bottom where we did the talenty, we're going to add a break block method um, into super break block, which I don't think does anything. No, it just removes the talenty. So we want to do it before we remove the talenty, um, I believe. And then all we want to do is we want to get the item handler so that we can actually take, like, drop the items that are in it. So i item handler and that's the handler is equal to and we need to just get the tile entity so it's obviously going to be our tile entity so tile entity block breaker te is equal to world i'm just going to change that to world world dot get tile entity at the pause that's going to want us to cast this now to that tile entity and all it is is te get capability and it's capability item handler item handler capability the facing is just going to be null now what we can do is for in slot equals zero Slot is smaller than handler.get slots take one. 
Uh, the reason why we take one is because counting starts at zero, so slots would be just how many there is, so to take one. Slot plus plus item stack stack is equal to handler dot get stack dot get stack in slot slot and all we want to do is inventory helper dot uh, spawn item stack in the world at the pause dot get x pause dot get y and pause dot get z and the stack respawn is that stack so basically that'll just drop all of our items so we should be able to run the game now and the items should now drop okay so game is loaded up should be able to go inside of our test world again and what we should be able to see is that we can break this now so this is still pumping in items should be able to break it and that had a lot of items in Wow. So let's go get that block breaker again. Um, now it shouldn't matter which type of block breaker it is. It, both of them should work. Oh, I think it's watching everything. So then that's now going to hold it. Put a hopper underneath. It's collecting all the items. I put these items back in. Then that will just go straight through the hopper on the bottom so we've now got a tile entity guys so thank you guys for watching don't really like comment and subscribe i am out